Jesus paid our fine and suffered our death penalty for the sins we committed. He substituted his life for ours. Top of the morning to you. When we consider who we are in Christ, with the mind of Christ and a firm determination to get to know God personally and more fully, we're constantly reminded when we read God's word about how Father God gave his only begotten son, Jesus, in John 3.16, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. 1 John 4.9, in this the love of God was made manifest or made visible toward us, that God has sent his only begotten son into the world that we might live through him. Jesus stood in our place, taking our punishment we deserved for our sins, which destroyed our relationship with God the Father. In the Old Covenant, God made a way for our sins to be temporarily covered. It was a system that involved high priests sprinkling the blood of goats and bulls over the Ark of the Covenant's atonement seat. It was a foreshadowing of a permanent way to ultimately remove our sins. With God, Hebrews 9.22, without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness. In the New Covenant, Jesus <clears throat> is our High Priest. He is the source of the blood sacrifice. Romans 5.11 We take joy in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom we have re now received the atonement. Atonement being covering on the mercy seat. Unlike the Old Testament or the Old Covenant sacrifices, Hebrews 9.26 Christ once and for all removed our sins by his own blood sacrifice. Verse 28 Christ died for us for all time as a sacrifice to take away our sins, or the sins of many people. Hebrews 10.10, 10, God's will was for us to be made holy by the sacrifice of the body of Christ, once and for all time. Verse 12, our high priest, Jesus, offered himself to God as a single sacrifice for sins, good, <clears throat> good for all time. Hebrews 9.15, Christ died to set us free from the penalty of sin. Hebrews 10.16, This is the new covenant. I will put my laws in their heart and write them in their minds. Verse 17, I will never again remember their sins or lawless deeds. Verse, Hebrews 10.21, And since we have a great high priest, Jesus, verse 22, let us go right into the presence of God with sincere hearts, fully trusting him. For our guilty consciences have been sprinkled with Christ's blood and made us clean. Words of encouragement, in basketball, they give awards to people who successfully substitute for other players. It's called the Six Man Award. Jesus is the ultimate six man. He is our substitute. He came in and took our place, absorbed our punishment we deserved for our sins. In the Bible, it's called propitiation, explained in 1 John 4.10. In this is love, not that we love God, but that but that he loved us and sent his son to be a propitiation for our sins. Have a great day. Jesus is King.